And welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam Eyesore. I'm TJ the Obscure here with you. Today, we are going to try Fornin's map. Uh, I got the name wrong last time. I called it Legacy, but that was that was just a mistake on my part. The actual name of the map is The Discarded World. If you recall, the last time we tried this map out, there we, we encountered some issues, uh, not only with difficulty level, but just with the mechanics kind of going crazy. Uh, but I was really intrigued by what Fornin was doing, and he's updated the map now. And so I figured that we would give it another try. Let's go ahead and turn the death counter on. I assume it's going to it's gonna say the same stuff. That is not real real steak. That steak goes bye-bye once we press the button. Um, same, same lore and everything. Uh, feel free to look at that if you would like. And once again, the the name is Discarded World, which makes a whole lot more sense than Legacy. I was like, what the what the heck is Legacy? But yeah, yeah, just the Discarded World. I like that name. I do indeed. And I think what we're gonna do is I'll probably edit out, especially these early parts, and we'll jump right to the action. Area one, Grotto of the Fading Cinder, and the sign is pretty pretty dang ugly. Oh, is it on? Okay, it's on normal. Let's turn it to hard. And lock it. Um, and let's go ahead and grab ourselves some wood and do all that lovely stuff. And I'll see you guys once we once we get up to where those blaze and those gas and stuff are. Oh gosh, that was that was fast. Um, let's see here. Can I? I don't want to spawn any more zombies if I can help it. We just need one more piece of wood, I think. Oh, we got, got a couple of zombies coming for us. Let's just go ahead and hop up here, then. Oh, can he follow me? He can follow me. Really? Okay. I guess I guess if I can do it, they can do it too, right? Um, all right. <laughs> I, it's still early in the morning. Give me a break. Give me a break. All right, let's start by taking out this spawner if we can. Uh, and then we're going to run over here and take out this guy. I did say I was going to uh, skip through all this, but <laughs> it just seems like it might get a little challenging here. So I figured I should probably show this just in case I happen to die or something. Although with both the spawners taken out and the swipe attack and everything, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too challenging. All right, we're st we're still dealing with the blaze, although they seem noticeably uh, easier, which is interesting. I mean, they were one-shot kills before, but that was only with critical attacks. Maybe both of those were critical attacks, and I just didn't realize it. Die, Mr. Zombie, die. And there's a bit more leather in the chest. So that's one of the big changes that I'm noticing. All right, let's keep going. Keep going. And this is where things got really difficult for us last time we played. But piece of cake with the new, new and improved. <laughs> I hate that phrase. The, uh, the new blazes that we have significantly easier, which makes taking them out that much more simple. Oh, he got me. He got me. Let's just go ahead and block that off if we can. I don't think the zombie can get to me. Oh, we definitely want to take out both of the spawners. Interestingly, the... Uh, I don't know if that was a gas spawner or if that was... Because before it was gas, but no gas spawned. Um, we have the spectator mode over in that direction. But before we head there, let's check out this guy right here. And uh, maybe grab ourselves some more wood too. More wood and more coal. Just so we are well prepared before we venture into that nasty, nasty place. Right, let's just go ahead and light you up and hit you. And 
blocks. Ooh, interesting. That time I did not kill him. Alright, and we need more cobble as well. Would probably be smart to do. Ooh, there's a chest here. Interesting. I love I love hidden items. I love finding goodies. Let's see what we have. Two iron chest plates. Some better food. That is that is a big deal right there. And some iron tools. I think we'll leave the rest of that stuff here. Just in case we happen to die. And let's make sure. I guess we, the cobble isn't as important now that we have some iron tools. But might as well... Grab a little bit more, just to be safe. Just to be safe. And more leather. Fire protection. Um, I guess let's go ahead and put it on the iron chest plate. Would probably make the most sense here. Refresh torches, we still need to get some coal. And let's make sure we take the anvil with us. Lots of boats. Lots and lots of the boats. Oh gosh. I cannot I cannot control these things for the life of me. There we go. We kinda got it going. Kinda got it going. I hate like whenever you get off, I feel like I should slide, but it's just like instantaneous stop. Full stop. Alright, this is the dungeon that gave us so many problems last time. Labyrinth of the Spectre. It's pink dye this time. Last time it was grey dye. Interesting. Uh, and do we... I don't know if we really want to... I just realized that if you respawn in here, you're actually stuck. I guess you could always get the chest, right? But let's make sure we do that. Um, I don't know if we really want to set our spawn here, do we? I, I guess we do. Why not? Alright, we're in spectator mode. Um... And I think that we just want to go over here as quickly as possible and light this guy up. And thankfully the slime kind of slows them down here, although it makes me very bouncy. And I'm not a big fan of being bouncy. Oh gosh, they do so much damage. They do so much damage. Oh, hit him. Hit him. Well, that was, that was nice. Good job, guy. Alright, he's taken care of. We got a power wumbo. Um, we do have our anvil. We got some better food here. Uh, let's go ahead and put that on that guy. We got a shield with little durability. Uh, and if I recall, we just want to go over in that direction. Seems like there are significantly fewer mobs in this version. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. And we do have some arrows now. Oh, stop. Stop bouncing, guy. And you can't miss your shots. Oh, what am I doing? What's wrong with arrow? Arrow flight is all weird. Oh, gosh. And I'm, I'm not scrolling. I think I need to get a new, new mouse. I think I've, I've really... This one is just, just, just starting to fall apart on me. Buttons are sticking. Scroll wheel doesn't work. All right, we definitely need to take out this guy. But you, we can just ignore. I want to get all my arrows back, please. Precious, precious arrows. All right, and one spawner down. Two spawners, two spawners down. Be so great if he dropped. I guess, I guess I already have a better chest plate, don't I? I do not need your chest plate, there, guy. All right, pink dye and a potion of swiftness. Interesting. I assume. <laughs> I love that little. Like you really gotta spell it out for people, don't you? All right, go ahead and do that. Get the axe back on the bar. Now, last time, this is where. Oh, I can't move my things around because I'm in spectator mode. Spectator mode? I don't know why. 
My, the way I'm, I'm emphasizing certain syllables of that word sounds funny to me. Alright, light it up. These guys are pretty gnarly. And they could probably, like, two-shot me. To be honest with you. Although they do start to die eventually. Um, sure, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Don't need you, or 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 you. Okay, got it. Um, and down we go. I assume that we're going up. Oh, gosh. All right. And block along. Let's go ahead and get that regen going. Let's light it up. I don't know where these guys are spawning from. Um, all right, more pink dye. Spectator totem. We got another anvil here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, pink dye. All right. And are we going down? Is that where we're going? I, be I do believe so. All right. Let's just take it out quickly. And there's wood here. I wonder what the wood's for. Keep going down. Keep going down. Number three. Punch. We got that. We got better shields. Uh, don't need you or you. Got so much stuff. So much stuff. What are the leads for? I guess I could lead the sheep. Is that is that what I'm supposed to be doing? I have no idea. Um, possibly. Oh gosh. Uh, let's go ahead and do something like that. And the poltergeists are still around. Got you. Yeah, well, I feel like we're supposed to be putting a sheep in here or something. Oh, I'm stuck in the floor. Axe on the bar. Oh, more wood. Um, more chicken. Oh, gosh. No. Nope. More pink dye. So many things in my inventory. So very many things in my inventory. I kind of wish I hadn't had uh, put power on that. Let's go ahead and add the projectile protection. Here's what we can do, maybe. Is we can put punch on you and then combine these guys. Whew, okay. Um, I'm in spectator mode. Yeah, I'm a little, a little confused at this point. Oh, they do like three hearts of damage every time, and I don't know where their spawner is either. Gosh dang, scroll wheel, come on. So are we supposed to be bringing the sheep in here? Like, is that, is that the goal? Can you, how does that even work though? I'm not, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Is the magma trying to show me something, or is it there so I can kill myself, maybe? I have no idea, you guys. Or do I go in here? Oh, gosh. Um... Well, I'm in a place. I am definitely in a place. I don't know if this is where we want to be, though. 
I feel like we're supposed to be bringing sheep in here. But I don't know how we, we can actually bring them in here. Um... Huh. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure I'm cheating right now. Uh, but I just dug through the obsidian. And we have iron helmets. More shields and whatnot. Let's go ahead and put that guy on. Well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not cheating. I thought that was going to be the wool, to be honest. Um... What? I mean... We would have to, like... <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I'm, I'm at a loss as far as what we're supposed to do. And I feel bad, too, because I really like the idea of spectator mode. Press a key to select a command. What? Um... Well, I, I I feel bad. Like I really wanted to play the map and uh, and to actually beat it this time, but I'm kind of at a loss as far as what to do. It it seems like we're supposed to guide the sheep using the leads. Um, but once you die them, there's no way to interact with the sheep. What about, um, does anything happen like if we put a button? Gosh dang, poltergeist, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Eat the foods. What happens if we put a button on the command block, I wonder? Okay. Okay, finally, we figured it out. Um, I don't know if we wanted to do that, though. I don't know if we wanted to do that. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, gosh, dang it, really? Okay. Um, I need to get my torches, I need to get situated here. Let's do that. I, I kind of forgot that you could even interact with command blocks. I thought you kind of had to be in creative for that. And can we take out the archer? Gosh dang it. And block. I should have let one of them hit, hit the other one. Alright, let's just go ahead and block off real quick. And... Take out lay archers. Gosh dang guy. Alright, I don't have my axe on the bar. Where's my axe at? There is my axe. Gosh dang it. Eat the foods. Take out. Oh, I, don't, I don't have a pick. I don't have a pick. Uh, I do have a, a wooden pick. We'll do that. We'll do that for now. Alright. Uh, let's make a pick then. One pick coming right up. I have way too much stuff in my inventory, you guys. It's getting kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous. Alright, so what we're supposed to do is actually lead... Lead the sheep. Erg. So many things. Let's get in here and do our best to light it up. Oh, come on. Get out of there. Get out of there, guy. All right. Got it. Just barely. Oh, let's get one of these regen things on our bar just to be safe. And I need to be picking up... Actually, I don't really need, need to be picking up the melon, do I? I have plenty of other food. Alright, 
it. Did we actually do an okay job of lighting things up? Looks like it. We do still have the poltergeist spawning. Um, one button coming right up. So first, we want to <laughs> lead the sheeps into the thing. Come over here, guy. You know what this reminds me of is that one CTM that was... Uh, Oh man, I, I even thought about playing it recently by Blue, I think, or Time to Slide, where you had to lead the animals. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Alright, and then I think before we before we die any of them, we want to guide them into the things. Would be smart. No. Oh, come on, come on, get, get in your cage, guy. Get in your cage, please. Get in there. Get in there. And grab that. Alright, one more. It's certainly interesting. And it's kind of it's kind of um, makes me very, very anxious because of those poultry guys flying around. Which I think he nerfed them. I wonder, do they drop diamonds? That would be interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and get you in there. And give me my lead back, if you don't mind, or not, you can keep it then. Fine by me. Alright, and then we want to die all of them, I think is what we want to do. Do not end up in the bedrock, guy, that would be bad. That would be very, very bad. Alright, do that. And where do you take us? Okay, I think that's the spawner right there. All right, and you, mister, you take us where? Gosh, this is pretty, uh, pretty involved, isn't it? I think we want to be heading in that direction, if I had to guess. But let's, let's, let's head, a, let's head in this room first. Oh, gosh, dang it. I forget, I need to, nope, get, like, right in the center. Come on, come on, there we go. There we go. Alright, try to light it up, maybe? Maybe? Oh gosh, I don't know if- I don't know how I feel about this. I do not know how I feel about this. Oh, I need to eat. I really need to eat. Die already, guy. Alright, let's take this out. So they stop spawning and trying to kill us. And chicken on the bar. Okay, you can actually guide them on the leads even when you're in spectator mode. That's interesting. I really don't think we need this one over here, but I'm going to do it anyways. Or maybe I won't do it. Because the dang sheep will not follow me. I feel like this mechanic would work so much better. Oh gosh. If uh if it were just a larger area. Come on, get in there, guy. Get in there. Get in there. Good job. Alright, and you are pink now. Alright, once again I think we want to be heading in this direction. Two. What does the two mean? I do not know. All right, more, more of that stuff. All right. Might as well go ahead and grab those. It's. I'll, I'll say it's not the most exciting. Gameplay though, it's an interesting idea, but uh, it's getting kind of tedious, kind of boring. All right, and we are in a new room. Oh, with the coal blocks. Got him. 
Got him. Let's get... Where's my axe at? Where? Oh, where? Oh, gosh dang it. Ah, get up. Get up, guy. I was going to try to find that... That spawner. Uh, oh, yes, please. Yes, please. I will most certainly take it. And more of that junk. All right. Um, oh, look. There is a thing right here. Got it. I don't know why I stopped blocking right there. I would love to figure out where this, this little dude poltergeist spawner is. Whatever you want to call it. And I would also love some... More, more some of these coal blocks. Gots it. Uh, can we? Oh gosh. Can we by any chance reach this? Just barely got it. Whew, okay. Be gone out of my inventory. And do that. Need to put the button right there and then guide the sheep over. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna worry about the, uh... Oh, about the coal blocks, to be honest. Oh, man, they, they sure do pack a punch. They certainly do. Uh, can I get some light down by any chance? Gosh dang it, how, how are they... Gosh dang it, you guys. Ha! Oh gosh. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Maybe that was not the best of ideas. Right, taking care of... Can I get them to start fighting each other, maybe? There we go. Everybody just fight everybody. While I take out your buddy. Oh, look at him. Look at him dodging. Alright. Whew, okay. We want the lead on our bar. And we want to get to full health. And then we're just going to run over here and grab this thing. I guess we should probably um, take out this zombie spawner first, just to be safe. Gots it. Alright. Oh, I just, I hit, I hit the thing. I hit the thing. Come over here, guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Get in the thing. Get in the thing. Nobody shoot my sheep, please. Nobody shoot my sheep. Do not do it to me. Alright. Close it. Eat the foods. Uh, that. And then that. Alright. Where are we at? What are we doing? There are some of the zombie dudes in here. There are quite a few of them, in fact. They seem a little stuck. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh, we got another chest plate. Oh, but I can't pick it up. I can't pick it up. I can't pick it up. No! What if I, like... Would that be far enough away for me to get it? Oh gosh. Nope, we're not going to be able to get that. That is something I really don't like about this is that I items can get lost essentially oh gosh lots of stuff fire protection too okay lots of yummy yummy things I wonder what the uh, what the night vision is for 
spawner way up top, spawners on either side. I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to do here. Gosh dang it. Nope, not gonna be able to get that. Uh oh, uh oh, no, get up and out of there, guy. Okay. There's like ledges and stuff on the side. I think maybe the command block is right there. One thing this map is certainly doing a good job of is forcing me to, to think critically and problem solve. Oftentimes, CTM maps are simply, uh, you know, run and run and attack, run and attack, grab the wool, and you don't have puzzles or anything in them. Oh gosh, really invisible blaze, huh? Uh, that one is still alive. Apparently, I missed. Does the night vision like help you see the blaze or something? Gosh dang, I cannot even see the guy. Alright, got him. I think we got him as well. Uh, we should just be able to bridge out here quickly. To take out... Take out the spawner. That was the worst, worst bridging I think I've ever seen. Okay, more of that stuff. Go ahead and refresh blocks. Uh, the sheep, I think, is up there. So we need to get the sheep... There's a spawner right there. We need to get the sheep to over there? How on earth do we do that? Oh, and poltergeists are spawning. Oh gosh. Let's get out of there. And I think what we want to do is to take out the rest of these spawners if possible. So let's start with the blaze spawner over here. This video is probably going to be a little long, but I wanted to at least complete one area. And like so. And we can go ahead and do that. Now to take out this guy. I think I'm doing it right. Not entirely sure. Fire resistance and some other things. Can't I just uh, use a boat to get across here? I think I can. And <laughs> I mean, I think that maybe what we're supposed to do is like jump off and bounce up here with the sheep. But what, won't the lead break if we try to do that? I honestly don't know what he intends for us to do. Or we could just build a build a little platform though, right? Um, I think that this would technically work. If I can actually get in there. Oh, really? Uh, go ahead and do that. And then we get into the boat. Get out of the boat. Yep, I cheated. I cheated. I'm a cheater. Let's go ahead and get down here. There's an archer somewhere. Let's 
Light it up. I wonder why the fire resistance. Um, I don't know if I like that chest. Oh, pink dye. Does that mean I have to have... That I have to have the pink sheep in there in order for it to work? Maybe that's what that means. Alright, and up and out. Yeah, I guess maybe that means that we have to have the sheep. Alright, so we gotta figure out how to get the sheep down from there. I suppose we just build a staircase, right? I think is what we want to do. Ooh, gosh, that was close. Nope. Bad poltergeist. Where'd it go? And these ones, these ones I think have the sword. So they're, they're much harder. Full health. Alright, spawner taken care of. But there is a poltergeist. There is no longer a poltergeist. Can we get the sheep down safely? Let us see here. Ooh, okay. He is right there. And let's just let's just go straight here. I think that's gonna be the safest thing. Sheep should be able to To make this fall, I think. Yes, indeed. And can we get you into the thing? Come on, get in there, guy. Get in there, you can do it. You can do it, thank you. Alright, and you are pink now. I wonder, you think there's another pin down there? Or or did that, did that do it? That did not do it, gosh dang it. Um, oh, you, you think, oh, I'm, I think I'm supposed to build my own? Gosh, why, I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb, I really am dumb. I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I just need to build my own fence, and I don't even really need to do that, do I? No, no, just do this, and then we do, we just guide this guy over here, come on Mr. Sheep, I guess it, it is going to be safe, safer to, to go ahead and build the fence, huh, I think so, and there we go, just like so, and we turn it pink, and... We got the light gray. So it seems you won't let the physical world that binds you hold you back. Commendable. That said, you mustn't forget that the trial for this wool is only half complete. Really? Only half complete? Why don't I just take it back? The revealer. This artifact, when held in the offhand, will reveal and weaken invisible walls. Huh. Okay. Lots of arrows. And redstone blocks. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, how does it work? I guess we can't really... Oh, gosh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Definitely want to be in the spectator mode. There we go. But this is not an invisible wall here. Oh, getting low on wood. Um, that and that. We're in some kind of mushroom world now. Oops, oops. Uh, why are you not? There we go. Oh gosh, it said it will... When held in the offhand. There we go. That's pretty cool. Oh man, but we have we have a long ways to go. It looks like. And this video is already far too long. So I see a name tag way down there. Some really interesting stuff going on. Um, this it, this almost seems more puzzle map than CTN. Um, but it's a nice blend of the of the two genres, I would say. It's certainly more puzzle oriented than than. Gosh, I can't really think of it, any other good examples. Uh, from the CTM genre that do that do this. Um, so certainly breaking some new ground. Well, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, again, the whole sheep thing is a little. I don't know. I'm curious to see what the other areas are going to be like, if it's going to be the same spectator mode stuff or not. But, but yeah, overall, I'm I'm happy to see that the map has been updated and that it's actually playable now. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to the next, next few areas. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.